Hey everybody, James Yeager with Tactical Response. Thanks for watching. Training and no gun beats a gun and no training. Uh, prove me wrong. I posted this on my Facebook page and as I suspected, uh, quite a bit of, raised quite a bit of turmoil and uh, um, and disagreements and they started listing as is typical with something like this all of the times where everything went wrong and somebody shot somebody um, several instances of a guy recounted a story where a woman is with a, a man who is abusive and this goes on for years and there's cocaine use and all this stuff and then he's beating her one day and a, a son a child, but uh, I think ten or twelve, uh, shoots and kills the, the 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 guy, and and see, and the guy's like, see, that's my proof that people don't need training. Well, that everything went wrong. She stayed with an abusive man, cocaine, alcohol. Uh, she let her kids be in the, that environment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's let's back this up. Let's okay, here that's how that ended. But let's back that story. Let's back that story up. Let's say before she even meets this guy, she just she decides, hey, before I become a mother, I want to be able to protect my offspring. So I'm going to take training, and she goes and trains with somebody like Clint Smith or or whoever the whoever the case may be. She trains with with some some instructors and and she's around all these other these students in class, these these men of different professions and things that all have this similar interest. And she she meets a she meets a gunslinger. She meets a man. He's a, a professional of some sort. Uh, and they and they get married and she never needs to use her gun okay now uh, he, he painted his picture I'm, I'm, I'm painting mine um, because when you train you get competent competence breeds confidence and women that are confident don't stay in relationships with abusive men they don't uh, but uh, this this isn't about abusive men now for for your for your edification i've also asked several instructors i said and i'll just quiz them I, I did this to pat mcnamara just a couple weeks ago in front of the whole class they go hey pat would you rather have training and no gun or a gun and no training he went training and no gun as if i was ridiculous for even asking him that question he went training and no gun um uh, training and no gun you know like you know pat mac anyway but uh, uh, uh he's my friend I'm, I'm just joking around so so what's the difference well um you can list all these examples where everything went wrong and somebody shot somebody and i'm not telling you that you and people are going to try to change the subject so please hear me clearly i'm not saying that you have to have training to defend yourself i'm not saying that happens all the time i get it however with proper training, what I'm saying is you can see and navigate around dangerous situations without ever having to pull your gun. You see, the difference is, the difference is how dangerous are you without your gun? And that's what I'm talking about. Because if the gun's only, if, if you take somebody's gun away and they are harmless, they, they, they weren't that that, 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 that that dangerous with the gun really and um, and I know and, and I posted this up and I said and I, on that same thread and posted up yeah you know Pat McNamara agrees with me and guy yes guy goes yeah of course two guys that have a training school agree that people should get training and I said everybody that's disagreed with me was untrained nobody that had training, disagreed with me on that thread and I'm asking you that you people that have training or don't pay attention to the responses here begin your response with I've had training and or I've never had any training and what your opinion is and watch watch the two different worlds watch the two different worlds uh, because because um, I'm telling you right now you can buy a gun but you can't buy luck you can't buy skill and the more you train the luckier you are and what I mean by that is the more you train the more you realize as the situation unfolds things that are lucky time and space tactical things that uh, you can use to your advantage but that you would not recognize had you not been trained properly um, will beat skill 100% of the time will beat skill um, but uh, as I said a training training and no gun beats a gun and no training 
I, I, I'll, I there's prove me wrong. And, and, and again, if you're going to post up a scenario, go back to the beginning of the scenario. And if they would have had training, would it have made that scenario different? That's, that's all I'm asking. Um, and it's, this is, and people are like, yeah, it's because you sell training. <laughs> First off, I give away more than you would ever know. I, I give away more training than most schools charge for. Guarantee you. Guarantee you I do. But uh, but my point is that I got into this because I knew it was important. I became a student of this craft because I knew it was important. I still continue to train with other instructors because I know it's important. Just because you are too cheap or too stubborn or too arrogant to think that you need training doesn't mean what I'm saying is wrong. And I try to tell that to people all the time. They go, well, you know, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with you, and here's why. Just because you don't agree with me doesn't mean that you're right. This is James Jacob with Tactical Response, reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.